when they called me about this, and I've been working with Magical Elves for a couple of years now on different projects, when they called me about this, this is the, this is the show that I've been looking for to get on the air. Because we, we tend to glorify uh, the prosecution side of, of, of our equation all the time in, in, in TV. We demonize defendants all the time. But never before have we taken the criminal defense side of this and looked at, taken a deep dive into it and looked at it from what we do and how we do it and what it does when you leave for five, six, seven months, leave your family, go 1,500 miles away, and, and work on the hardest case that, that America has. And so finally, uh, uh, this show gives the country a look into what it is to be a criminal defense attorney and what it means and, and from a perspective that the country's never gotten to see before. Absolutely. I mean, I agree with that. Uh, of course, the $150 a day we're getting for this is a big <laughs> play too. You got that much? Well, they're paying you more. <laughs> But, you know, people always want to demonize criminal lawyers. They want to view us as, as agents of, of, you know, the criminals themselves. And we're viewed as aiders and abettors. And we're, as I said in the piece, I've walked into restaurants and had people spit on me and throw drinks on me. And, I mean, we are hated people, and, and, and that's fine. None of us became criminal lawyers because we were the most popular kids in high school. <laughs> um, but I think it is important for, uh, for a, a, an objective perspective to learn what lawyers go through when we're representing somebody who is hugely unpopular. It's, it's an interesting process. Whether you hate us or love us, it's an interesting insight into, into, into you know, what the hell we do. Anything to add, John? Well, uh, I obviously, I, I agree with that. I, I think the concept for the show was really a great one. I agree. Um, and I've been asked to do a lot of other kind of things media-wise, and I turned a lot of them down. Mm -hmm. But this was the first time I'd ever heard this subject brought up, and I think not only I think it was a great idea, I think Oxygen's done an amazing job. So, uh, and I hope that people can see us in the real light. I, I, I just, uh, an anecdote, I was interviewed once and did a profile uh, for the New York Times when I was representing Sergeant Bales. And uh, I was in a trial and I was in a bad mood. And it was Friday night and I didn't get tired of these kind of things. So, but it was the New York Times. So um, the reporter says, why do you do this? I still have my briefcase on and stuff. And I said, pardon, I don't know if I could swear, but I said, it's my blinking path. And he said, that's not very romantic. And I said, it's not romantic. This is the hardest job in the world. Yeah. And, and so I think people need to know that. I mean, none, none of the people you're looking at right now do this for the money or the attention, although we get a lot. But it's usually, yeah, but it's, yeah, right. <laughs> but it's usually not favorable. 